Welcome back to the Dynasty today. It's number 11 Rapid City versus number 15 Notre Dame. Let's go down to Jimmy before this thing kicks off. Uh-huh. Mike, it's looking like it's gonna be a slobber knocker, man. Burned a box of Lucky Charms for good luck. <laughs> Stop playing with fire, Jimmy. We'll see you in the second quarter. Oh, I'm gonna burn it all down. Reminder, make sure you click the link in the pinned comment to enter a name for a prospect in next season's recruiting pool. And stay tuned for committing and flipping at the half for news on prospects submitted last season. Okay, Jimmy, see you later. The Rapid City's defense, which looked much better against Temple, comes out against a pretty stout Notre Dame team. See what they can do. Jones dropping back. A Heisman candidate finds Barna. And Barna has six. Of course, Ben Jones, the Heisman candidate. Rep City with two of their own now, with Kevin Schroeder and Alani Neal. Second and four, Jones takes the snap, looking for the out, and it's incomplete. So right away, some good defense here. Third down and four, Jones looking low to Nixon. Nixon cannot break a tackle, and Rapid City will hold on the first series. First and 10, Rapid City from the Notre Dame 47. McLaurin keeps on the option. Big 97 brings him down for no gain. Galloway making a concerted effort to feed the running backs this year. Hawkins in motion. Schroeder gets the carry, finds a lane to the right side and picks up three. So now Rapid City is faced with their own third and seven. Of course, if you're a fan of Rapid City, you can join the Discord, talk more college football in general, or Rapid City. Clark with a snap, this is play action. He's got the tight end wide open. That's Hawkins for a first down. Good to see Anthony McLaurin accurate on his first attempt. Snap is away. Again, had him open and this time, Throws it nowhere near. Second and ten now after a horrible throw from McLaurin. He will give on the option here, and Schroeder busts one for nine yards. Third down and one. Another give. Schroeder finds the hole and a first down. The give. Schroeder this time met in the backfield and he'll lose two. McLaurin to Alani Neal out of the backfield for four. That will bring up a third down and eight. McLaurin... Feeling the heat, just gonna have to throw this thing out of bounds. Rapid City is stifled on their first drive and they'll trot out Garrett Evans to kick a field goal here. Kick is up and good. And the Stegos lead it three to nothing over the fight of Garish. Jones looking out route. Owosika for three. Second and seven. Look a going low again and Jones is staying short so far. So a third and seven now. Jones looking to throws to nobody. And Rapid City will force a second straight three and out. Studio update. Number seven, NC State is at home versus number two, Miami, in the rain. And Boykin puts Craddock in the dirt. And that man out for the game. Miami rolling with Kayla Smith the rest of the way. Now how about some Sooners and Dogs action? Early second and Georgia is up three nothing until this Curtis Nass touchdown. Pen to zip dogs. We got some Fargo at Michigan State highlights coming in the second. So the Rapid City offense immediately back out on the field with a minute 30 left in the first quarter. Lokalani in motion. The give. Schroeder waiting for blocks. Got a few and he's got five. Another give to Schroeder. Again finding a hole. Breaking a tackle for seven and a first. That is this play action. McLaurin way off the mark. McLaurin accurate on his first throw today, but since then, not so much. He keeps on the read option here, cuts back inside, and he'll have nine yards. Third down and in inches. That Alani getting knocked down by his own guy. And Galloway is deciding to go for this as the first quarter winds down. They do not get the snap off, so we'll head to the second. Rapid City up three to nothing over the Fighting Irish. Going for it on fourth down when we come back. But first, let's head over to Jimmy. On oh, fourth down, man, this stadium is shaking, man. That's a big down for sure. You got anything else before we uh, head back out? Well, you know, I'm glad y'all fired my daddy after one week. He was, uh, he was insufferable. <laughs> well, he's been fired twice now, but yeah, I'm glad you approve. Fourth down and inches from the Notre Dame 37. Schroeder gets the carry and easily picks up the first. Hawkins in motion. Another give. Schroeder looking for blockers. Doesn't really have any, but got two. Another give to Schroeder. Schroeder busts back inside. First down, Rapid City. Galloway feeding the running backs. First down. Another give. This time it's Alani Neal. Gets held up. No gain. Alani Neal, of course, spells Schroeder. 
Two carries so far today, no yards. Schroeder gets the carry. He's got a blocker out here and picks up five. Third down, can Rapid City put one in the end zone or pick up the first here instead of settling for three? Snap is away. Lawrence rolling. He's got a man in the corner of the end zone. That's Colby Woods, and they're saying it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like a touchdown to me. And Galloway has thrown the flag on the field. They're going to look at this. It did not come down from the booth. This had to be challenged. And it looks like he might have been out on this. And they're the receiver's foot touched out of bounds. So Rapid City will be forced to kick a field goal again. Garrett Evans, good. Six to nothing, Rapid City. Notre Dame will be looking for some offense. They have not been able to get anything going. They don't even have a first down today yet. Jones, looking, and he's wide again. Gotta wonder, is it the Rapid City crowd getting under Ben's skin here? Second and 10. Jones, looking. Gonna throw to the little dump to Marshall. And I don't, was that Jared West who dove and freed up Marshall to pick up a lot of rack? But you don't see that often. Jared West is getting absolutely torched. Notre Dame going to actually run the ball here. And West gets trucked. Oh, my goodness. Kevin Houston was almost gone. Absolutely plowed Jared West. Plowed another fella and stepped out of bounds. And what was a good start for this Ram City defense? Now, all of a sudden, they're looking a little lost out here. First and 10, another give to Houston. Looking for the left side. Two yards. Second and eight. Gonna throw it up there. What a catch. And Notre Dame is threatening. Jones takes off. And Jones is into the end zone for a Notre Dame touchdown. 13 yards to pay dirt. Seven to six. Notre Dame takes the lead just like that. So now Rapid City's offense feeling a little pressure here. You gotta start scoring touchdowns. You can't keep kicking field goals. Snap is away. Lauren looking for the, whoa, he was way off. Second and 10. Lauren will try to hit Schroeder again, and this time it's good, and Schroeder bulldozes a man for a first down. Two minutes, 40 seconds left here in the second quarter. Snaps away, McLaurin keeps on the read option, finds some blockers up the middle and has himself some yardage here, but there is a flag down, and this is holding, so it's going to push Rapid City back. First and 14. If Schroeder picking and choosing his hole here, seven yards. Second down and eight. Play action. McLaurin looking. Going to go to McFly over the middle for a first down at 16. First to 10. Snap is away. McLaurin taking a shot deep, and that ball's almost intercepted by Ojolari. Of course, those that remember, Ojolari is the one who broke Rapid City's hearts a couple of seasons ago. Snaps away. McLaurin has the tight end, and he just misses him again. So third and ten, and McLaurin finds some accuracy. McLaurin gets hammered in the backfield, sacked. As promised, here's Ham Fay hitting Lee for six and running one in with his legs to give MSU the 17 to nothing lead as they head to the half. Back out in the rain and Cody Brown gets Miami on the board and then all hell breaks loose right before the half as they trade blows that ends with a touchdown to Beal Smith. Hurricanes up 17 to 14. Now back out to Georgia for a 42 yard pass to McDonald that ends with a humdinger of a catch by Farouk. A man, them dogs answered on a Ratliff score. It's 17 to seven, Georgia. So a decent punt from Bobby German, and it's first down, fighting Irish from the 15. Ben Jones over the middle. Lewis has nine. Block continuing to tick here. Notre Dame not in any rush. Then looking over the middle again to Marshall, and Marshall has another 13. First and 10. Ben looking. This time does not have this land. He's going to try to take off with this thing, and he makes a man miss and ends up making something out of nothing here. Oh, Rapid City was scrambling there. Somebody's going to be open on this, and it's Triangin for 13. Notre Dame still going fast here. 33 seconds. Snap is away. Dumps to Houston, and Houston very close to field goal range now. Second down and one. Snap is away. Ben, look, and he's got the out. And that is Barong for a huge 13. 19 seconds now. Notre Dame looking methodical. Then over the middle to Marshall. Eight yards. Final timeout. Use. Second down and two. Then to the cut.
Uh, back to Marshall. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Trey Marshall from Ben Jones. And that is a huge score before the half. 14 to 6. Notre Dame. McLaurin takes. Oh, and it's a little play action, and they're taking a shot. McLaurin's throwing a bomb here. It's nowhere near anybody, and they'll go to the half. Down 14 to 6. Lighting Irish. Started off slow, but they've got control of this game now. Let's check in for the halftime show. Welcome to Committing and Flipping. Willie's been fired. <laughs> Let's take a look at the new commits from this week and get some big updates from other guys around the nation. Let's start with Rapid City as Davis Lomanak commits to the Stegos. The 6'1 corner out of Kentucky isn't the fastest guy in the world, but is known for his ability in man coverage. They weren't done here, though, as tight end Bill Queen also commits to the Stegos. By most accounts, he has a lot of work to do, but will provide solid depth until he develops. Rapid City now has three guys in the class. Now, Willie called it last week, but he's been fired, so I'm calling it. And five-star linebacker Boots McFoots commits to Ohio State while four-star strong safety Fernando Lugo commits to the Dirty Fargo Asteroids. In a peculiar move, five-star linebacker Riley Williamson commits to Northern Illinois. And this poor kid, his parents, I mean, they just, they can't like him, right? Ham Boner commits to Clemson to try and erect the program. Those are just a few of the guys that verbaled as we saw 77 guys around the nation choose a school. Check the tracker for more. All right, I'm giving my crystal ball on number eight overall outside linebacker Bo D'Angelo to NC State. Number 10 outside linebacker Theodore Dukes to Clemson. And number 34 overall wide receiver Phil Atkins to USC. I put 131 new crystal balls on the players this week. Pause. Check the tracker for that as well. I also put 33 guys on flip watch. Number three overall outside linebacker Bill Daniels. Watch out. Arkansas had him wrapped up, but USC is coming in hot with a visit scheduled for the fella. Same goes for number 21 overall outside linebacker Dylan Sharkey. Tennessee has him, but here comes Georgia, who will have him visiting next. Now let's check movement in the polls and the Heisman race. Rapid City slides up to number 11 in the latest coaches poll as Notre Dame fell to 15th after another loss, this time to Syracuse. A win for them today would go a long way. Lonnie Neal makes his way into the top five of the Heisman race after his huge game last week. Bryce Poitier, quarterback out of Clemson, leads. Lastly, the Tar Pit finds itself as number five in the nation in toughest places to play. Notre Dame will look to knock that ranking down as we head out to the second half. A special thank you now to our members of the channel, the Rapid City Producers and Boosters. It's your support that enables the high quality of this dynasty, including voice actors and software. If you'd like to become a member on the channel, click the join button below the video or the link in the description. And hey, join the prospect list in the pinned comment for next season. And as always, thank you. Rapid City will get the ball to start the second half. They're gonna need to make something happen here. Alani Neal from the goal line, coming out. Finds a lane, Alani Neal is gone. 40, 30, nobody is catching him. And for the second straight week, Neal returns a kick for a touchdown, right up the middle. Now Rapid City will go for two here. Snap is away. McLaurin looking, doesn't like anything. Gonna go back over the middle and Kobe Woods almost catches that, but it's incomplete. Rapid City trails 14 to 12. Rep City's defense started off with two straight three and out. Since then, it has been rough. And they get back on track here. First to 10. Then, now low to Triangent. 10 yards. And right now, Rep City does not have an answer for Notre Dame in coverage. This is actually a give to Houston up the middle. He's breaking tackles. Oh, almost gone. Second and two. Then, Triangent again for a first. I think at this point, you're going to start to see Rep City shading the tight ends here. Ben Jones looking, oh, he's got a man wide open. That's Marshall, and that is a touchdown. I don't know what happened in coverage there, but there wasn't a man within five yards of him. 21 to 12, Notre Dame by nine. Notre Dame smart, kicks it away from Alani Neal. It's first to 10, Rapid City from the 22. A give, Schroeder, Rapid City not abandoning the run game here, three yards. You gotta feel like if Rapid City's gonna win this game or get back in this, they need McLaurin to start hitting some throws. Lauren sitting in the pocket, now he's flushed. Got a man deep, can he get in? That's Kobe Woods who takes a hit. But 38 yards later and it's a first. You wouldn't believe it, but both teams now with eight first downs. Schroeder, big hole up the middle. Schroeder for nine or 10. 
Schroeder with 78 on the ground today. Another give. This time it's Nelson. Not sure where Alani Neal is. Second down at seven. Snap is away. McLaurin is taking a shot, and he's got Charlie Hall for the touchdown in the back corner of the end zone. What a missile. 21 to 19. The gap closes a little bit. Reps, did he have trouble sticking with them in man? You got to think you're going to see a little zone coming from Damon Williams in this defense, but that just leaves pockets like this where Trey Marshall has another big gainer. Six catches for 140 yards now. Trey Marshall is a problem. Pick your poison. Do you stick with the tight end or do you double up Trey? Over the middle to Owosika, first down. Rapid City cannot find an answer on defense. Notre Dame moving it down the field. The give to Houston and there's nobody out to the left side here. It's drilled down after 11. Every play is a chunk. First to 10, then out route. Trey engine for four. Second down and six, then Got Triangin wide open. Where is his man? That is McCormick just continuing to fade on the route. David Williams going crazy on the sideline right now. First down. Ben looking over the middle, and he's got Marshall for another touchdown. He cannot be stopped. 28 to 19, Notre Dame. We're back in East Lansing for Parker to gap to get Fargo going. And Faye said, uh-uh, not on my watch. And hit a 27-yard pass to set up a David Johnson touchdown run that Parker would answer with his own legs. The Fargo trails 24-14 as we head over to NC State Miami. Caleb Smith hits Michael Redding the third to give the Hurricanes a 10-point lead. Strickland will get a touchdown reception next drive, and NC State trails by three. Now we go back out to Georgia as Curtis Nash drills a fastball to Derek Hamby for 40 yards. Them dogs lead 24-10, heading to the fourth. Plenty of time left in this game. Two minutes to go in the third here. McLaurin and the offense come back out on the field. Snap is away. McLaurin looking, gonna throw to the check. That's Woods out of the frying pan and into a first. McLaurin may be finally heating up here. First down, looking. Doesn't have anybody. He's gonna have to take off with this thing. Goes down the sideline, picks up four. The offense gotta be feeling pressure right now because the defense can't make a stop. Second and six, the give. Schroeder up the middle for four. Third and two. Another give. Schroeder is going to get hit in the backfield, but wills his way to a first down, and it's still on his feet. I mean, we talk about the will to win. Kevin Schroeder has got it. That play action. McLaurin cannot get the throw off. He is sacked by Brian Smith. Now behind the sticks. Second and 15. McLaurin hits Nelson out of the backfield, and Nelson will have a good game here, but there is a flag down. This is clipping and Rapid City is going to get hurt by a penalty again. So instead, we'll do a second and 21. McLaurin going to Schroeder out of the backfield and Schroeder makes a man miss and all of a sudden he's in the open field to the 15 10 5. Touchdown, Rapid City! What a play from the Heisman hopeful. I hope you got your popcorn. It is 28 to 26. All right, here we go. Can Rapid City get a stop? First and 10. Jones, Houston, around the right edge, seven yards. And we will head to the fourth quarter with Notre Dame leading Rapid City in the tar pit. Unheard of these days. Jimmy, what do you think Rapid City needs to do to pull this thing out? How about flip the entire defense in the transfer portal? Is that an option? Ooh, ow, that, that is going to hurt well, some feelings, Jimmy. You know, we playing for titles here now. You can't hack it. You need to go on and get. <laughs> yeah, well said, Jimmy. Well said. Get. As we start the fourth quarter, let's not forget this Notre Dame team is coming off of two straight losses. Playing. Oh, my goodness. That was a dangerous throw. It is a first down, though, because Marshall is catching everything. A turnover would be huge. Is it in the cards? First and ten. Jones. Doesn't have anybody. Now he finds Owosika coming back across after his route broke. First down. Even when Rapid City has tight coverage, they give up a first. Ben going to give this to Houston. Chopper going to come up and make the stop after six. Second and four. Over the middle. Tree engine. First down. Marshall in motion. Looking over the middle. Wide open to Lewis, who has another 
first. And those that have followed Rapid City know that that is this team's weakness. The defense leaves a lot to be desired. First and 10, Notre Dame. Houston, around the right edge, will have nine or eight yards here. And this is a killer drive that Notre Dame has going right now. Wide open to a Wosaka for six. And that's gonna make it hard for Rapid City to come back in this thing. 35 to 26, Fighting Irish. Get ready, I got a lot here to go through. Parker converts a fourth down into Marion Hush gets six. Two plays later to cut it to a three point game. Three minutes to go when Ham Fay gets picked off on one of the greatest interceptions I've ever seen. Robinson, more like Robin Fay. I'll go home. Parker to Branch for 23 yards. Parker to Milk Dud for 13 next. And then Parker to Branch once more for a touchdown. You gotta be kidding me. Asteroids up by three with 45 seconds to go. That's too much time. Faye goes to work, and then look at this, man. 52 long and hurtful yards through the air to Keon Coleman, and the Asteroids can't believe it. But hold on now. Parker has seven seconds left as he hits this pass to Branch for 19, 48-yard field goal attempt incoming to force overtime. And that ball stayed in the air in eternity until it fell short. Amp Faye and the Spartans escape. 31 to 28. Whew. All right, let me catch my breath, man. How about another field goal attempt to force overtime? NC State makes theirs, though, and to overtime we go. First possession, McLaughlin to Davidson for a 25-yard touchdown. Pressure over to Miami. Nah, Smith to Redding again. We're squared up. Smith to Beal Smith again, and now the Hurricanes are in front. Now look at this. Aaron Chitty, what the hell have you been eating, man? Somehow breaks the tackle for six to tie it again. And then in the next overtime, McLaughlin and the Taj butts for another six. They gotta go for two. And James Neal said, hey man, check out all these worms as he drilled McLaughlin into the wet field. Miami now has a shot to win it as Terrence Orr scores and it's their turn to go for two. A read option from the backup, Caleb Smith, and he's the hero of the game as they pull it out, 46 to 44. All right, let's finish up back out of Georgia where they're up 31 to 10 as Oklahoma tried, man. They tried, they got aggressive and got a touchdown to Andre Grant to cut it to 14, but Wesley threw another interception to Javon Bullard and the Bulldogs win it as Curtis Nash throws for 400 yards. Whew, 31 to 17. The jet sweep, McFly buried in the backfield. We are now under four minutes in the fourth. Florin got the tight end. That's Lokalani who's got the first down up to the 42. And Rapid City, down by nine, will start to go fast. Snaps away. McLaurin, tight end. Hawkins for another first. Again, on the ball. Snap. McLaurin, pop all he had. Locolani. It gets batted at the line. Snaps away. McLaurin, going low. Oh, gets sacked before he can get the throw off. The Rapid City's in trouble. We approach three minutes. It is third and 19. McLaurin. Got a man on the sideline. That's Colby was for 20 yards and a first down. Oh no, they are reviewing this. We're gonna have to hope that Colby got the foot down. Take a look here. Oh no. After reviewing the play, receiver's foot stepped out of bounds. Ruling on the field is overturned. It's incomplete. So instead, it will be fourth and 19. A blunder. And McLaurin has a man. That's Jordan Gorey, the true freshman for 26 and a first. Redshirt sophomore, correction. What a clutch play as they scramble to the line. Snap is away. McLaurin looking for the same route, but it's not there. Just has to throw this thing away. Lucky that's not grounding. Snap. McLaurin hitting Schroeder. Out of the backfield, who will have a first. And that means Rapid City will get on the ball again. Bad dash to the line. First and 10, McLaurin dropping back. Oh, and this is a screen. You don't see Rapid City run these often, but it pays off here. Schroeder down to the one. And they continue to go quickly. Running to the line, McLaurin marking out the signals. The give, Schroeder met in the backfield. Rapid City is forced to get on this again. McLaurin snap looking. Oh, and it's almost intercepted. Third and goal from the three-yard line. That McLaurin keeps on the read up the middle. Touchdown, Rapid City, and we've got ourselves the game with two minutes and 18 seconds to go. You've got to think 
that Notre Dame will be looking to run the ball here, but maybe not. First and 10, Rep City stacking the line, and they might have been off sides on this. Might be a free play. Ben Jones going to take off. Flag is down, and it is off sides. What a bonehead mistake from Darrell Bullock. Rep City doing Notre Dame favors now. Blitz is on. Ben finds Dixon over the middle. First down. Clock ticking down. Notre Dame draining as much of it as they can here. And snap. Give. Two yards. Timeout. Rapid City. Second and eight. Give to Houston. Houston finds a hole up the left side. And Houston might have just ended the game. Timeout. Rapid City. Another give to Houston. Houston's got seven. Snap. Houston again. And Houston has a first down. And that will pretty much do it here. Rapid City's defense proves to be the weak spot we all thought it was. Notre Dame will take a few snaps, a couple of knees, and end this. It's a shame because this offense is built to win it all, but the defense is not there yet. And Jones will take one final knee here, seven seconds, as they tick away. And this home crowd is stunned. Rapid City does not lose home games, but today they were defeated. After starting off so promising with two three and outs from the defense, Ben Jones, Trey Marshall, Trey Angent, they turned it on and Houston just drained the life out of them on the ground. Big chunks, Ben Jones player of the game, 329 through the air, five total touchdowns, 27 of 30 through the air. Even in the loss, if you're enjoying the dynasty, drop a like on this video, comment, support the channel. Those are the only ways you can. Well, unless you want to become a member, you can click join below. Before we say goodbye, Jimmy, you got any final thoughts for us? Final thoughts, yeah. Can we open the transfer portal right now for some defense? Oh, again, man. Okay. That'll do it from Rapid City. See you next week mm -hmm. against Northwestern. Mm -hmm. Stay away from those locker rooms next week. No. Damn it, Jimmy. What? What'd I say? I'll say something bad.